okay for that matter you should understand first what in what a vector means you should be able to know what a vector means okay so first let's write the definition of the vector okay so when we talk about okay something more than the vector we also can, we always consider the rotational properties of the vectors okay we will not specify the geometry of the vector we will simply consider what its ro rotation properties how a given quantity transforms under a given set of rules okay so how we define a vector okay let's say if you are having coordinate axis for that matter defining a vector i need coordinate axis okay so let's take the two dimensional case where your coordinate axis are defined by x and y okay more generally we call them as the basis vectors okay for it about base, kind of term basis let me simply call this as x and y this just represents the directions of the coordinate axis if they under transformation from uh, x y to if they if you rotate your coordinate system let's say you are having a coordinate system x and y and you rotate it uh, let's say to a new value to an angle some theta okay like this thing to y prime okay if these okay so they will transform this way x cosine of theta plus y sine of theta or and y prime is equal to minus x sine of theta plus y cosine of theta. Really? what is the determinant here determinant of this very transformation so it's something like okay let's write x prime y prime so it is something this kind of matrix cosine of theta sine of theta minus sine of theta cosine of theta x y really? so what is the determinant here it's one mm -hmm. cosine square theta plus sine square theta equal to one it's an orthogonal transformation really? okay now let's take any quantity which is having certain components really? so let's take a quantity some v okay mm, let me write some v it is having two components let's assume for the timing just two components correct v1 and v2 now if you make the same kind of transformation you are so this v1 and v2 will be defined with respect to some coordinate system clear so now under a coordinate transformation if this v1 and v2 transform in the same way what does that mean so you are having let's say v1 prime so like this thing v1 cosine of theta plus v2 sine of theta v2 prime is equal to minus v1 sine of theta plus v2 cosine of theta do you feel any kind of difference no nothing is it just x's are replaced by v's is it so x is replaced by v1 and y is replaced by v2 okay so if you are having a quantity which transforms in this way okay that means in the same way as these coordinate x's are transforming we call this as so we call v1 and v2 form the components of a vector this is how we define a vector. Clear? Got it? Okay. So now let's take the four vector. How we define the four vector? Okay. So you can now define the rule uh, to figure out what is the length of this very vector. So how we define the length of the vector? So uh, that is v. V is the length of the vector. We define it like this thing. Okay. Root of v dot. So this is how we define the length of the vector by defining an additional property what we call the dot product okay? so dot product if you are not able to do, define the dot product on your given space let's say then you are not able to define the length of the vector so this operation defines you the length of the vector okay? okay so now let's define the four vector so for uh, the very matter of the four vectors so I <coughs> Okay. what I need I need a certain kind of transformation okay uh, so with respect to which I can define an another quantity clear so since I defined a vector I started with defining how coordinate axes are transforming okay since we are dealing with the four dimensional space time okay so our space time is four dimension which defined okay like this way. so you are having now a quantity which has four components okay so Mishima, are you specify a given quantity in the along these four directions along ct along x along y and along 
z clear so you are having a con so now if you define a given quantity let's say v v so it will be having how many components four components clear got my point so one, every okay every direction is specified in the direction now how they will transform okay so there are the rules okay if if it is simply let's say instead of ct let's forget about there is no time let's say you are having these coordinates y x y z okay x y z and w you are having simply four coordinates if this length is preserved let's say you can be having let's say x square plus y square plus z square plus w square is it so does this define the length so what is the length of the vector here so v1 square plus v2 square is it okay so let's say you are having a quantity which is having four components let's say v1 v2 v3 v4 okay so what is the length v okay so what is the length so i should so v square is equal to like this clear so so if this kind of definition of the length of a vector is satisfied let's say so it's simply the euclidean sum is that true so it is like this thing you are having a pythagoras term so you are just extending it to four coordinates clear so there is no sign change between the uh, these squares is it so samasha if this uh, follows let's say for n components if you are having sum of all the squares of the components it is simply the euclid euclidean coordinate system clear but we have seen if you are having let's say if you are having this kind of coordinate system define it we have seen there is a way to define the length so what we call d s square is c d t c square like this okay or other way or this way d s square is equal to minus c square d t square plus d x square plus d y square plus d z square so, much sure. so you are having a length is defined in a different way so it is the interval huh? so it is the length of the interval between two end separated by let's say x uh, okay t x y z and t plus d t x plus d x y plus d y and z plus d z so it is the uh, length of the interval between two infinitely close intervals clear this is how we define the length now we need to figure if I am having a space time, okay. If I am having a geometry underlying this, okay. So this is this kind of definition is different than this thing, is it? So here you are having a length in this way, it is a Euclidean space, and we have a length this way, where one coordinate has actually the one sign, another has a other sign. Clear? So we call it as a pseudo Euclidean. Clear? So another other way, the Minkowski space. In this kind of space. The coordinate axis, since these are the coordinate axis, they transform this way. So the transformation between the coordinate axis is how, like, let's write this as x0. So x, it is like this. x0, what is that? Gamma into, okay. So x1, select it as simply, x minus, what is that? Let's tell. CT prime is equal to gamma into x minus VT. Is that true? Is this the case? Huh? Okay, then just tell me. So then you are hands x okay x prime is equal to gamma into oh no, like oh, it's wrong. So x prime gamma into x minus vt what is this say uh, ct prime so gamma into ct minus v by c square x clear you got my point so this is a kind of boost okay so this is a transformation you move let's say along x direction the simple on the transformation and you keep y and y same these coordinates let's say you keep same clear got it so in more general thing, so you since this is a four-dimensional matrix, this transformation matrix will turn out to be the four-dimensional. So it is something you are having x mu. <laughs> let me write all the four components, they will transform like this thing. Let me have these, these are the four components. Okay, let me write this as a column vector. Okay, something let's call x0, x1, <laughs> x2, x3. Forget about these are not 
okay so this is prime 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 so then you will be having a matrix four by four matrix okay then you are having what this x0 x1 x2 x3 clear got it so in general the components of uh, in general the coordinates will transform under a specific type of transformation this way okay we call these as the lorentz transformation and this is what we call as a lorentz boost you got it okay now if you are having some quantity which is having four components let's say let's assume you are having quantity v v1 v2 v3 and v4 let's say or let's say v0 v1 v2 and v3 let's say you are having some quantity having four components if these four components transform in the same way as you are having these coordinates transforming we call those components as the components of a four vector v okay so we i have defined v to be the four vector now clear got it so this is how we define a four vector okay now there are actually two since this is a, a non-euclidean space okay and okay so for that matter okay although it's a general property of the uh, spaces so we define two types of vectors okay let's say you are having one kind of vector v mu why do you define let's say v0 and vector v okay so now if this is our four vector where mu is equal to 0 means v0 the temporal component and v vector means the special component clear and then you can have it's another what we call which component equivalent so this we this we have done so let me write it directly now okay this way so if you start with the definition like this this thing and this thing let's put them to be the definitions okay? then you can define actually a quantity like this in g mu nu which is actually equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay which will take you the g mu nu will take you from this v mu to this okay like this way so this is simply the set of rules okay let's say if you are having v mu you go from let's say this g mu okay from this okay so lower one to the upper one you go from like this thing lower one to the okay upper one to the lower one and the form of g will remain same because it's diagonal you know? got it so now you can see if you start with the definition of this thing okay and you put the g as such you will be always able to construct this thing or if you put this as the definition from this v you can construct this v with the help of this g okay you can just see the components will change in this way okay okay when you are having a repeated index we call it the sum index okay it is known as dummy index so how it is that let's write g mu 0 v 0 plus g mu 1 v 1 plus g mu 2 v 2 g mu 3 v 3. Clear? Similarly here what you are having g mu 0 v 0 plus g mu 1 v 1 plus g mu 2 v 2 plus g mu 3 v 3. Clear? So now let's write 0 component v 0 here. So what you are having? So you are having g0 0, 0 v sorry v0 clear plus g0 1 v1 plus g0 2 v2 plus g0 3 v3. Now look here at that very matrix. What is g0 1? It is 0. What this is? What this is? 0. What you get? So g0 0, 0 is 1. So that means v0 you will get same as v0. v0 and sorry. This is so similarly now if you put v is equal to 1 let's put v equal to 1 mu equal to 1 what you will get g10 v0 plus g11 v1 plus g okay so 12 v2 plus g13 v3 so this again 0 this again 0 this is again 0 what remains there g11 what is g11 minus 1 so that means v1 equal to minus v1 or v1 equal to lower one. Okay. So now you can see. Clear? 
सो दिस इज हाउ वी मैनिपुलेट दिस इंडिसीज समझ आओ ओके सो नाउ यू कैन राइट नाउ द डॉट प्रोडक्ट लेट्स से द लेंथ ऑफ द वेक्टर दिस लेट मी राइट दिस v डॉट ओके सो v डॉट v so i'll not put the vector notation it means these are the four vectors okay so how i write it so it is something v mu v mu or you can write like this v square so what is it so this is same as v mu v mu so that means you put the same index if you put the dot product you put one as the lower index another as upper index so what will be the dot product it is v0 v0 plus v1 v1 plus v2 v2 plus V three, V three. Now, okay. So V zero, I will write V zero. What is this V zero? Okay, same as V zero. Okay, plus V one. What is this V one? Minus V one. Okay, V two minus V two plus V three minus V. Okay. So in other words, you can write it simply as V zero square. Okay, minus vector V dot. Okay. So much. So suppose if you are having now. Let's say a dot. Okay, four vector a, a mu, b mu. So I'll write this as a dot b. So four vector notation. So you can write this simply as a zero b zero minus a dot. Clear? Understand? Okay. What I have used? Okay, g I have used one minus one minus one minus. Clear? So this is how we do uh, the uh, this four vector notation. Okay. Uh, any further question? Huh? Yes. Any further problem here? So, if you have any more problems, okay, forget about exam. Okay, any more problems?